Hello all, welcome to our webinar addressing our Master of Science program, Epidemiology Postgraduate Online. Um, my name is uh, Maud Hoof, I'm the program coordinator of our MSc and PhD programs, Epidemiology for the University of Utrecht, and I'm located in the Julius Center of the University Medical Center in Utrecht. Um, well, when we're having a webinar concerning epidemiology, of course, the first question is, what is epidemiology? A lot of theories and ideas about what it actually is consist, but um, I think the easiest one and the one that I adhere to most is that it's concerning research that uh, research the occurrence and spread of disease in the population. And what I like is that it's a science that it aims at answering questions that's derived from a population, from daily life, daily practice, or the patients you meet or the people you see. Um, so if you look at it from a medical point of view, we address research questions concerning a diagnosis of a disease, a prognosis of a disease, and if there is an intervention, what the intervention does, but also if this intervention might be better or more poor than the intervention we use up to today. Um, I think it's very important to know that this is a science that's very much patient orientated and that no lab work uh, is um, done by epidemiologists, although we do use work from lab. So, normally what happens in daily practice is that you see a person, uh, in this example, a patient, and this patient has a disease, or at least he doesn't feel well. So we're going to look at where does this patient come from? What's the population? Um, it, this patient might be human, it might be an animal. And then we're going to look at what are the determinants that affect either the outcome or the population. It can be drugs, it can be the atmosphere, it can be where you live, old age, gender, it can be all kinds of things. So taking the whole picture into account um, to cure or to predict or to see the patient, that's what epidemiology is all about. Our master in epidemiology also has some goals. And, and so what are you going to learn if you are following our masters and doing our research? So again, it's patient oriented research. And we're gonna teach you methods of research but also some statistical analysis that you need to gather information. And but how then, how do we interpret these results? Um, how are these values, how are they gonna conflict with patient life? And also, if we found something that's important to us all, how are we gonna write them down so that other people, our peers, but also other patients can read them and can understand it? So it's an international program that we offer and it combines courses that teach you how to do research with research that gives you the chance of actually doing it yourself. Our courses are based in two types of courses. We have core courses and we have specialization courses. The courses are online and they're offered part-time. So the differences lie in duration. Some courses are only three weeks online, some courses are 12 weeks. So the study load is about a third of the courses if you would take them face-to-face, -face, if you would take them right here in Utrecht. It results more or less in 14 hours per week. It can differ per person, but I think it's a good estimate to account for 14 hours. Our core courses are uh, the same online as they are face-to-face. -face. You start with introductory courses, followed by more in-depth courses, how to do research and what is actually a study and how to address them, and also go more and more in-depth into statistical analysis. There's actually two pathways in our core courses. One is addressing uh, epidemiology more and uh, the introduction, the study design, presentation, how to write a research proposal, but also something really important, which is called research ethics. The other pathway is introduction to statistics, then followed by classical methods and modern methods in data analysis, which give you the true basis of doing good research. Our specialization programs online, at the moment we have three different specialization programs available. One of them is clinical epidemiology, one of them is veterinary epidemiology, and the third is a general version. And what it actually means is that specialization tracks covers 15 ECTS, Dutch ECTS, resulting in about 30 weeks. The 10 topics are being addressed. But the nice thing about the program is that only five of these topics, more or less five of them are obligatory. The other five are completely up to you. So even if your interest lies within clinical epi, if you'd like to take some general courses or some veterinary epi or infectious diseases extra, 
you've got the decision and the possibility to do so. So you're not just doing courses, you're actually doing your specialization track whilst you're in your research topic. So during your research, you can see where you lack knowledge or where your interest lies. You can adjust your specialization courses accordingly. Your research project has a large study load. It's 56 ECTS. So if you also do that 14 hours a week, it's going to take you about a period between two and three years of time. The nice thing about it is that we have, um, that you have the possibility here to make the research of in your own interest field or in your own research question or your own question that you see in daily practice. You've got a tutor list where all our epidemiologists are named and also their fields of interest and you can choose your own. You can either choose to write with this person a systematic review or to actually perform a clinical trial. As the master is located in the University of Utrecht, it's also part of its rules and regulations. So if you want any more information about the University of Utrecht, I would advise you to go to their website. You, or you can go to the MSc Epidemiology website for more information on general um, course info, course schedules or course materials. So if you have any questions to ask us, please don't hesitate to do so.